What's up, everybody? How we doing? Happy weekend. Happy Sunday. Hope we're all having a good weekend so far. I'm going to switch over the scene there. See the loading screen there. But yeah, welcome into this week's community showcase. Normally, we don't have a week to week community showcase, but we are doing things a little bit differently. And it's all just Goron's fault. Everyone yell at him. Say, how dare you just Goron make me do more content than I'm used to. What the heck? No. <laughs> Never a bad thing when we have so much uh, awesome content from the community that we have to do a week to week kind of thing, right? So that's never a bad thing. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the Just Goron show today. <clears throat> if you all check the description down below, uh, you'll see there is an entire section just dedicated to Just Goron's items because I think there's something like almost 30? The, the lad has been on a mad spree of building the past few weeks um, in in the Beaks Bargain. <laughs> I think I get either farther away or closer and closer to getting that pronunciation right. Um, but how are we doing everyone? Good to see you. Welcome in Mama Bear Plays. We're going to be checking out an awesome work in progress zoo. The only zoo today um, from Mama Bear Plays. So can't wait to check that out. Argo Zoos, how are you doing? This, yeah, the thumbnail today. Yes, it does look really cool. That is the Oasis Cafe from Christina. And it is one of my favorite builds that they have done. So really excited to check that out. What's up, AMA? We're going to check out a build from them as well today. <clears throat> Zoov, always good to have Zoov hanging out. Zoov's doing some awesome uh, gorilla builds right now. They're doing a, uh, I believe it's going to be a house, right, Zoov? Um, a really awesome like a primate house with some amazing climbing structures. Hopefully we get to see those on the uh, community showcase in the near future or something. What's up, Peter? Good to see some stuff from Peter today as well. And hello, my lovely mods. What's up, Silver Fox and Cebris? Hope you all are having a good day. Yeah, how dare you, Goron? <laughs> uh, but cool, let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the... Uh, we're gonna start with the animals today, the, um, the mods, because that's where we loaded in, basically. So why not start there, right? What's up, Basic? Just in time, buddy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start with those. Uh, so let's go ahead and load up the bush dog. And this is going to be brought to you, I think, by Leaf. Let me get my notes up here. Not that many mods this week, but we have really high quality good mods. So uh, good to see that. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be from Leaf here. We have the bush dog in the grass. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do that. I did not make our grass short. Let's do that so we can kind of get a uh, glimpse of them there, yeah? Let's do that a little bit so we can see our M and M and M and L's. Awesome, uh, cool. Yeah, here again. Here's the bush dog, and this is from Leaf. Leaf actually has a few different variations of dogs this week. Uh, where's the bush dog from? I've never. I think I've heard of this before. I'm guessing Africa. I'm gonna guess Africa. Oh, it's actually South America. Excuse me. Uh, bush dog is a canine found in Central and South America, and despite of its extensive range, is very rare in most areas except for uh, Suriname, Guyana, and Peru. It was first identified um, by Peter Wilhelm Lund from... Oh, interesting. There you go. So it's from South America. Never heard of that before. Very nice stuff from Leaf. <clears throat> Next up, probably something else from Leaf. Oh yeah, here's the other dog. Look at this duke. This made its way on... Uh, around on reddit and twitter and everything saw this oh gosh saw this kind of everywhere but look at the uh the golden retriever and you know what's really cool about this i wanted to uh, mention this specifically uh leaf made it so that if you play with welfare on that these dogs are cool with uh cheetahs so i don't know if you all know this but um golden retrievers or maybe it's just dogs in general but i know specifically i think it's at the columbus zoo uh, they use golden retrievers as like, um, what do you call them? Uh, wellness dogs or, um, oh, I know there's a, a specific name for it and I can't even think of it, but they like help raise the cheetahs from birth. So now like the golden retrievers and the cheetahs at the zoo um, are like buddies. They like go everywhere together. Whenever they let the cheetahs out, cause they like after zoo hours, they'll let the cheetahs kind of roam around the zoo, like on leashes, you know, for the most part in a lot of care, they'll have the um, golden retriever uh, pooches, dogs here, uh, go with them. It's kind of like a support animal. So it's that's it, yeah, support animal. So it's, yeah, they're they're really, really cool. So um, yeah, again, if you play with welfare on and you want to kind of like a realistic dynamic to it. Hey, what's up, Domez? Good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, the golden retriever, Dog here, Leaf has made it um, cohabitable with the cheetah. Look at that big yawn there. <laughs> that was awesome. So yeah, I love that mod. I think that's a really cool mod and a really cool uh, detail to add in there with that. All right, next up, 
Let's do the Black Howler Monkey. Hopefully they are climbing. Yes, here they are. I set up this awesome climbing structure. I think this is um, Wyatt's, I believe. But yeah, this is um, the Black Howler Monkey, and this is from Leaf. This is from Leaf. Look at this guy. Love and life. And then I think the female is the completely black one, which we'll have to look and find there. But yeah, look at this. Love how this turned out. Oh, gosh. Let's pause it real quick so we get a look at it. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And then, uh, yeah, let's see if we can't find the... I think it's right over here, actually. It is. It's going to go... Uh, it's hanging out with the... Oh, look at that. Is it the male or female? Oh, this is the male. This is the male. So the male is completely black. So cool looking. Uh, so yeah, again, this is the Black Howler Monkey from Leaf. Leaf was on a tear this week. Very cool. And then the last animal for this week, there they are, they are um, they're called the Brol Brolgas, B-R-O-L-G-A from Bongo. And you can definitely tell that um, Bongo is using the um, Red Crown Crane model to give us this. I think that Red Crown Crane uh, animal from the uh, Wetlands pack really opened up a lot of possibilities for Bongo and others to do like cranes and other kind of medium to bigger sized birds there. Oh, very cool, Zoo. Can't wait to check it out. Always looking forward to, uh, or always looking for more like nettings and climbing structures, all that kind of fun stuff. So, heck yeah. But yeah, here's the Brolga from Bongo. There's the male and here's the female. Looks really cool. Oh, very nice stuff there from Leaf and Bongo this week. They are the stars of our animal uh, mods. So be sure to check them out over on the Planet Zoo Nexus. Link is in the description down below. But cool, let's go ahead and switch gears here. Go to the blueprints. What's up, Christina? Good timing. Christina made the thumbnail today. If you didn't know, uh, yeah, they were the one that made the Oasis Cafe, which is hanging out in the background there. We'll get to that in just a minute, but very, very uh, amazing build. I, I love that build. It's one of my favorites that they've done. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's go on to the Just Goron Hour here. Because <laughs> the next, uh, again, the next bulk here are all from Just Goron. So uh, mods, you're probably just going to want to go ahead and link Just Goron's um, uh, Steam Workshop page periodically as we're going through this. Because, uh, yeah, again, there's like almost 30. I think there might be over 30 or just under 30, somewhere around there. So cool, let's go ahead and go on through this. So uh, first up, we're gonna do the bird signs, the Beaks Bergen bird signs. What's up, ZZ? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, look at all of these. And again, remember, these are not, not billboards, but he has been able to just go on. This is like his claim to fame, right? On top of being an amazing overall builder, just Goran makes these just absolutely stupendous looking art shaped signs. Cause yeah, again, these are, if you don't know, these are all made out of little 2D font pieces. Here's the, what is it, comma, you know, a lot of comma pieces recolored and stacked on top of each other. So, very, just dumb impressive, right? Dumb, dumb impressive. But these are really, really useful. I love the look of these. Because, um, yeah, well, you know, we have a pretty good size, or as far as size goes, um, small size billboards, but these really fill in the gaps of uh, being really teeny tiny, right? Let me get a Frank out here just for uh, for comparison. Frank! There he is, slacking on the job again, probably in the Porta John, taking a deuce. But look at that, look how tiny that is, right? In comparison, that's amazing. Um, next up, we have the information signs, which are gonna be right in front here. So yeah, they're nuts, exactly. These signs are absolutely nuts. Uh, but these are great, look at these signs. You have toilet, you know, restroom signs, like almost like a petting zoo, or there's an elephant. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. No cars driving over here. I mean, can you believe, like, what is this? What, how did you, what piece is this to make the red circle real quick? I have to know. Oh, okay, yeah, it's the full stop. See, see what I mean? Jeez. <laughs> and again, I, I think I mentioned it almost every stream, but people always ask like, oh, you know, I can never build something like this, but it's like, yes, you can. You just download it and do what I was just doing right there. Take it apart, you know, figure out how are they doing this? And then you can start to kind of learn slowly but surely. Um, how people make these kind of amazing uh, type structures and apply it to look at this just just look at it and you know what's really fun what's really really fun excuse me I'm drinking coffee right now it gives me heartburn sometimes um, is that from visiting the Beaks Berrigan from you know in Planet Zoo version I can recognize where this is from right now that little restaurant that overlooks like the Lemur Islands and stuff like that it looks just like that but that's ridiculous it looks so good 
Even I don't have the patience for this. Yeah, right. And Zizi, you're one of the uh, the art shaped sensei's in the uh, community. So right, um, awesome stuff there. Uh, but let's keep going because there's a whole bunch of stuff. Up next, we have the um, Bravo bus, the Dutch bus, and the Safari boat uh livingston version two yes we've seen a version of this before but yeah look at this we got the bus and the safari boat it's in dutch but that's okay you can change out the you know if you don't want it to be in dutch there you can switch out the lettering to be whatever language you want it to be i kind of like the uh the <laughs> um the kind of like graffiti on the side or whatever very nice and then the boat yeah this is version two i think the first version was a little bit more like blocky and a little maybe a little bit more big because uh, or a little bigger because they we're a little bit restricted on pieces, but look at this, updated and looking spectacular. Yeah, this is all Goron stuff, yes. I'll let you know when we stop seeing Goron stuff, basically. <laughs> but yeah, for the next foreseeable future, this is all just Goron stuff. Um, next up, we have a Stork Nest. Again, using these new, um, well, that's not new right here. These are, this is from South America pack, if I remember right. Uh, but on the side here, we have all those white birch branches from uh, North America update. That took some patience right there. Holy guacamole. Boats, 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 boats. Um, next up, let's go over this. We have the directional signs. I love this. This is really cool. Um, Wyatt Andrews also has a similar, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, directional sign on the workshop. And I think in conjunction with this one, they, they work really well together. But yeah, really cool color-coded signs for your zoo. Again, don't let the, you know, uh, these arrow pointing down, arrow pointing left. You can change all these. Very cool. Next up, sorry if I go a little bit too uh, too quick. We will, you know, try and uh, look at stuff a little bit slow. But again, there's so much. We want to make sure we're not hanging up too much. <laughs> um, we have the African Animal Murals. Again, by Just Goron. Look at this. This is so cool. I love that um, there's different styles for this, too. And I wonder how easy it is to kind of change the colorings of it. Like, what is this made out of? You know, really not that bad. So if you did want to change up the colors for whatever reason. It's really not too terrible to select all of the, like, the background base of it and everything. So you can kind of get away with uh, doing that kind of stuff. But overall, um, that's really, really detailed and cool. I love the look of that. So if you're doing an African section, definitely get those. Uh, next up, we have the co coin rolling, hold on, coin rolling thingy version 2.0 and uh this is the this is the two, version 2.0 i actually have version 1.0 so i just wanted to bring it out for in comparison to see how far along that this has come look how much smaller you're able to get it with the new pieces that we have in game and everything i think yeah version 2 is definitely spot on isn't it so yeah big ups there next to that we have the uh, hanging hay net. Welcome back, Mama Bear. Please. We have the hanging hay net. Very cool for like a what giraffe or just kind of general feeding kind of thing. And yeah, everyone, uh, be sure to check out the um, my mods are doing an awesome job of linking the uh, workshop, the entire workshop for just Goron's entire page and everything. So be sure to check that out for all of these awesome items there. But yeah, there's the um, hanging hay net. Next to that, we have a flexi color. Uh, Flexicolor elephant statue. Look at that. That's so cool. And it's Flexicolor too. So very easily just each piece is kind of a different Flexicolor. You can see you can change the color editor really fast right there. It's just legendary. It absolutely is, right? I'd love to see. I'm sure it's taxing as hell mentally and <laughs> physically to, to uh, do these kind of things, to have the patience to do these. But I'd love to see a whole uh, set like this. Oh, hey, there's the... The man of the hour there. What's up, Goron? No worries, buddy. Welcome on in. <clears throat> We're probably about uh, a little under halfway through all your stuff. Uh, what's up, Haribo? Welcome in, buddy. Um, but yeah, no, we were just saying uh, we uh, love this elephant statue, and it would be really cool uh, if, if you could mentally withstand it to do a whole set like that. That's really cool. Next to that, these are, I love these, this little bit of uh, theming here. Uh, there is the warning mining area signs. And look at this. We have, oh, geez, I hit the zoom in button. I love the uh, the detail here, the little font pieces and everything, and even the, the skull. That's a cool little uh, uh, theming there. I'm probably going to use that in the build there. I'm not sure you can withstand that. Uh, no, fair. Absolutely fair. <laughs> 
Uh, next to that, we have the uh, Lion Taxidermy Head and Tail. So Nicholas Lion Rider no longer can hold the title for the uh, the only animal killer, the only poacher in the Planet Zoo community. Just Goron was like, no, screw that, hold my beer. <laughs> hey, what's up, Nate? Good to welcome, uh, welcome you back in there. Uh, but yeah, these are kind of cool as little props. Actually, these next few items are really, really cool for like museums or interiors. And I've been doing a funk load of interiors lately. Uh, so I'm probably going to use a lot of these items um, in my builds. But uh, next up, next to that, we have the um, the small bird nest display. Again, I forget that we have these pieces in there. But uh, don't forget that we actually have decorative prop eggs from like Frontier. They gave them, they gave them us, uh, they gave us these eggs. There it is. I can spit it out. Uh, but no birds, you know. So what are you gonna do? Well, we got the storks, I guess. So <laughs> or the crane, excuse me. Uh, next to that, we have the Deek Deek taxidermy display. Very cool. Very very cool. Love this, this is really, really useful here. Um, the outdoor restaurant table. There's something similar to that later on. Look at what he did as well. He even has the heckin' fork and knife with a little uh, like menu and like coaster and everything in the middle. Look at the details on this. Like what the heck, what, what is this plate? What did you use for the plate? Guest barrier sign. The woody what what? What is this? I don't know what you are. There's a bunch of colors for it. Oh! Yo, that's clever as funk. <laughs> okay, I never would have guessed that. That's like perfect scale, too. That's awesome. Jeez, y'all are creative as heck. Tell you what. Anyways, moving on here. <laughs> um, we have, uh, let's see here, metal planters. These are very cool, and I like that you have uh, two different versions here. Uh, the actual plates were too big and weird. Yeah, right, so you have to find your own. Uh, but I like the metal planters here because you have two versions. One of them has even the, um, what do you call these, the barriers? Yeah, the guest barrier curbs, uh, so the guests won't walk into them there. What's up, uh, Nolan, uh, Nolan Gaming? There it is. What's up, Nolan? Uh, but yeah, it's cool that you have the curbs included in there so that the guests don't actually uh, you know, walk through them and everything. But yeah, very cool. Uh, metal planters next to that very true easy very very true um next to that we have the bakes bergen <laughs> uh climbing number six look at all this climbing goodness here very natural wood looking so i like that look a lot of times you get these like kind of sleek contemporary slash modern kind of looking climbing structures but these are definitely you know Looks like a bunch of poles kind of strung up together and tied up. <clears throat> or like wood poles, I guess you should say. So uh, yeah, it looks very, very cool. Love the netting and everything. So very, very nice. Was that it? Oh, nailed it. I was telling everyone earlier before you came in, Goron, that I'm either getting a lot better at that or a lot worse. I'm not sure. So, but yeah, I got, I got the seal of approval from a duchy, so. <laughs> Those are usually underground. Oh, really? I think that's a really nice um, addition to it, to be honest with you. Because a lot of people forget that we have the curbs and what they're even for. So yeah, I think it's good to include it. Uh, this, this is probably the most interesting build out of this whole thing. What is what is this? Just the uh, the basket ceiling lamp. And again, just kind of using pieces. Totally like, you know, what you wouldn't even think that they're for. Now, is this from North African Rope Knot? Is this a modded piece? No, because it's North African, right? So it's definitely not a modded piece. I forgot that we got this rope. I totally forgot that we got this piece. It's such a useful little thing. I remember the very first time that we I saw it, like during the embargo days, I was like, hey, you can make a bunch of turds with that. And that's what I did. I made turds. And then I made a kebab set. I made I made kebabs in the Star Wars build that I ever did. Um, the pieces give it a nice glow at night. Ooh, let's see, I didn't even look at it at nighttime. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of nice and subtle there. What'd you use for the uh, the light? Oh, it's the same thing that Leaf used before. Um, the uh, New World bulb. Yeah, the New World decorative bulb that we've had since like the beginning of the game. I totally forgot we had that light. It's a really nice light. That's a nice light. <laughs> um, next to that though, probably my favorite piece because I'm about to build a restaurant or thinking about building a restaurant and I had no idea where to start. But right when I saw this uh, piece when I was getting everything collected, I was like, hey, just Goron gave me like the perfect starting spot. This. But yeah, look at this. Uh, really cool restaurant self-service counter. 
here. <clears throat> oh, we got added with the Europe pack? No way, okay. I thought it looked kind of new. I was like, yeah, I don't remember this, but you know, there's been several times where people have pointed out pieces to me that have been in since like alpha. I'm like, oh no shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I love this. Look at all the details here. I won't go too quickly over this, but was this like some bread maybe? Um, so like not some plates, all of all the planters on top. You got your like ketchup, mayo, ranch, mustard. Uh, this is really creative though. This is really creative. Um, next to that, we also have the tiny plant pot. That's right there. Look at that. It's tiny. It's a plant. It's in a pot. Cha-ching. Done. Do, do. Yeah, Jagoda, aren't they great? Yeah, those climbing structures are really, really great. Uh, next to the tiny plant pot. <laughs> um, but with the Europac, they added a standalone one. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. T-I-L. I should read the uh, the update notes sometimes. From Frontier. They give some really great ones. Uh, but next to the tiny plant pot, pot plant, yes, we have Rhino Display for Museum. And yes, some really cool things. I believe I've seen this piece here on another one of your blueprints. So now I'm like kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, this one right here, right? Oh, it's an updated version of that. Because this is from you, right? The Rhino Education Table. We go to Steam Workshop. Yeah, this is from you. That's like an updated version of that. I know this because I use this all the time in my interior builds. It's such a simple little table to set up and like quickly reorganize. That's fun. Uh, next to that, this. I'm going to use this all of the heckin' time. I'm sick. Do I sound sick? I Hopefully not. We've had a lot of changing of the uh, the weather lately. We've gone from like 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees. So my sinuses are like, the fuck? Uh, but I love this. Look at this. Um, animal paw display. I'm going to use this in every single heckin' one of my interiors. I love this idea. Um, yeah, really, really clever. Love it, love it, love it. Have that on a workshop already. Nah, no worries, it's like an updated version, right? No one will ever know. And speaking of using it in every single one of my interiors, uh, this also is gonna go in all of my interiors. Little chain link crate. Love the way that this looks too, and it fits in really well. Uh, it's a modded piece, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, but it fits in really well with the this African crate. It's actually a little, just almost the same size. Uh, but this African uh, crate from the uh, Safari pack on the workshop. So yeah, I think these look really, really nice together. What's up, Nefek? Good to see you, buddy. Um, I'm actually gonna go back to one of the build I just completed in Sunset Ridge Zoo and add that crate all over to it. Uh, next to this, we have the piece of elephant skin. And again, just really cool interior stuff. Um, I think I mentioned it before during this stream, but yeah, I've been doing just only interiors for like the last week and a half and been driving me nuts. Uh, but all this stuff right in between here has just been brilliant for uh, interior stuff there. Uh, next to the piece of elephant skin, we have the small metal skeleton. It almost looks like one of the golden retriever dukes. What's up, duke skeleton? <laughs> Pretty cool. And then to finish us up, Again, that kind of fits in well with the restaurant table over there. We have the small outdoor table and chairs. So very cool to fill in your uh, outdoor dining section there. So holy guacamole, there was the uh, Just Goron show. Again, I kind of separated the list down below. So it's, it's kind of like the first chunk of stuff is just Goron stuff. Or again, uh, my awesome mods have been linking um, just Goron's workshop page throughout the uh, stream here. So be sure to check out his entire page there. Because yeah, he is always uh, continuously uploading a bunch of useful stuff for your zoos there. So yes, big claps, big, big, uh, big shout out to just Goron for supplying us with amazing uh, items for our projects and zoos and everything. So yeah, big shout out there, just Goron. Can't wait to see some more uh, some more stuff from you can uh, in the future. But cool. Hey, let's go ahead and continue on here with the rest of the showcase. Um, the first one here is going to be from um, AMA Goomer, right? Or is it Goomer or Gooner? Well, let me just get this. 
Gooner. I said Goomer. AMA Gooner. Uh, I love this. They, uh, they've they been messaging me over the last um, few months here because I uh, was doing Benton Amusement Park, if you all remember that. I'll, I actually will try and get an episode of that out um, in the next little bit here because I've been doing some work on that in the background. Uh, but yeah, they asked if they could make a ride for that. And I said, absolutely, freaking lootly And look at this. They made a Paris, uh, paraglider, right? I believe if I remember right. Uh, this is a paraglider. Uh, but they called it the Amusement Park slash Theme Park slash Fairground Ride. Um, to put into your zoos. And you can definitely put this in your zoos. I don't know if it's common in like European or um, like Asian uh, zoos, but in uh, United States zoos, there's definitely, uh, you go there and there's like merry-go-rounds and like little fairground rides. Uh, not like directly on top of the animals, but you know, like kind of pushed off to the side. There'll be an entire section. Um, so yeah, this is really, really cool. I love the, yeah, th this is really, um, yeah, add more amusement park rides to your things. Yes, exactly. I think we could definitely use uh, more amusement park rides overall, especially more like kitty rides. You definitely see like a lot of kitty ride sections, like small Ferris wheels or small merry-go-rounds that are kind of themed to like animals and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, really, really cool and really highly detailed too. Look at here in the middle. Uh, they went full on with the, um, use some uh, power boxes and yeah, this is really, really good. So yeah, definitely check this out there from uh, AMA Gooner. Uh, what's up, Claire? How dare you be late? Uh, lost track of time. Oh. Never forgiven, ever, ever, ever. We're already halfway done. <laughs> Welcome in, Claire, good to see you. Um, next up, next to that, we're gonna look at something from Lion, or Leon. Uh, we have the, where is it? There we go, Info Directional Sign Pack number two. And this is the second version of this, and it is so, so good. This is a must have, everyone. This is absolutely a must have. So here's a little instructional on this. Um, all the signs are modular. They are built up by many groups. Uh, so you can recolor every element. Uh, after recoloring, group the entire sign when placing hide the red art shape. But yeah, look at this. These are absolutely fantastic there. Oh no, Harry? Yeah, I think it is probably a, uh, very much so a uh, United States thing. Um, so yeah, if you're doing a United States zoo, don't forget that merry-go-round, right? And how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. But look at all these. These are absolutely amazing love 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 these so yeah if you uh are needing some signs in your zoos lion has you covered here fully and again don't forget these are all modular so if you want to change the color or anything like that the shaping anything go ahead and do that pretty quickly different styles for everything hey i hear you mama bear plays i'm a uh, I always use the uh, the workshop items. Look at that, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm always using the workshop items. May as well, right? Figure there's so many amazing uh, builders who upload their awesome builds up there. May as well use them uh, for our zoos, right? So yeah, these are just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, this is a these are a must have. All of like Lion signs that they upload are absolute must have haves there. So really good stuff there from uh, from Lion. Next up, let's go check out Christina's. This is the thumbnail today. This is the Oasis Cafe. And yeah, I can't remember. Um, I believe they are mentioned that this might've just been a one-off build or if this is part of a bigger project or what, but um, they were mentioning this is the first little bit of a desert kind of architecture that they've dabbled in. And oh my gosh, look at this. Are you all ready? This is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous but here let's we'll, we'll go inside the oasis cafe first but i love this contemporary modern um kind of architecture here just a one-off okay yeah so you're just feeling the the desert kind of architecture here look at this fan freaking tat i even love this y'all know what piece this is here yeah i'll show you yep the sculpture Flip it upside down, you get this really cool bronze, but it's where you uh, will put your sculptures on top of. But this is definitely a build you want to uh, download and just go and marvel at and then take apart and see how they did what they did, right? Because yeah, it's just, it's it's always just next level whenever Christina does something. <laughs> uh, but look, I love this way the sun comes in. If you hit it just right, there we go. Get a little bit right there. Do that, hit G. Hit F4, turn on some reshade, and oh. Tell me that's not a real picture. Like, let me get rid of Mr. Bozo in the background here. He'll poof out of there. 
Yep, there we go. Tell me that's not a real picture right there. You know what I mean? Like that, oh, they hit everything just absolutely perfect. <laughs> and that's why, I, that's why this had to be the thumbnail today, 110%. <laughs> But yeah, let's just, again, we're just gonna nice and slow a little bit here. Look at all the details, got all the books on the shelves here. If you wanna know what those are made out of. Have the North African mosaic pieces. Kind of lined with some more of those comma font. You know, we see these comma and full stop pieces a lot, right? So kind of makes you think that those are some good pieces to build with there. Do, 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 do. Look, we even have. I think this is from the countertop. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, they actually, she actually made little. What the heck piece is this? European mooring post. Th oh, the cap piece. Look to make little cookies and stuff. Same thing here. What is this? Decorative prop egg painted. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I thought that was all part of the, because um, you know, there's a countertop here. Like one of the in-game countertops that we can use or that the, uh, whoever can stand behind. My gosh. Just everywhere you look, there's just more and more details, right? And then don't forget last week, we saw these paintings uh, that they did. So, uh, but let's head outside because it gets, you know, it just stays amazing all the way through and through. Look, even the flooring is custom as well. It went down a little bit too far, so the grass is kind of poking up, but. Yeah, everything custom out here, right? Even the table made out of the Planet Zoo wall window. Oh, windows as walls or windows as tables, I guess. But yeah, that's a window set. <laughs> Planet Coaster people remember, right? Windows as walls. Before we got the plaster sets. Oh, this is even like, look at this. I didn't notice this before, like such a small little thing, but use the um, the European cast iron fence to kind of, and the, the plaster pieces to build out their own little window set there. Are those candles scented? Yeah, coffee scented. <laughs> you know, it's uh, scented like uh, Starbucks coffee, right? Oh, this is cool. Uh, holding up the cactus and everything. Let's also uh, switch it over to the nighttime. See the lighting. Oh, yeah, right? Mood. It's a heckin' mood. Imagine just uh, crickets chirping. Nice little breeze. Sitting out there enjoying your coffee or beverage with some friends. Let's see the in interior real quick. Yeah, the gravel planter's right. Yeah. But okay, there we go. We have oogled enough, but yeah, I do highly, highly recommend download that, take it apart, take some influence, right? Cause yeah, again, the uh, the gravel planters, look at that. That's so cool the way it was lined. What'd you use for the lighting? European decorative limestone. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. So it's the little edge of that. The Sims vibes, yeah, I can see that, very much so. So very, very cool. Yeah, definitely download that. Favorite it, like it on the workshop as well. It deserves all the praise. You got, I love that right there, the swirliness. Uh, but yeah, big, big shout out there to Christina. Awesome, hey, let's go ahead and move on now to some more amazing art shape stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be all from ZZ. So the first one here is gonna be uh, Bear Pack 1A. And there we go, look at all these different bears. So whatever the game is lacking in, ZZ has us covered in the art shape bears. The cinnamon bear, <laughs> nice. American black bear. Oh yeah, there's some ones here I've seen requested a lot. Indian sloth bear, very nice. Then we also have a second pack, 1B. Bear pack 1B as well. So I got a lot of uh, different bears I've seen requested through uh, different socials there. The Spectacled Bear. Yep. A very cool from ZZ. Good alternative for people that don't want to download uh, mods. Uh, next to that we have a Dino Pack. Prehistoric Kingdom just came out, so ZZ was like, you know what? Sure. Let's do some more dinosaurs. <laughs> These look really nice too. I love the how colorful they are. 
And below that, we have the um, African Primate Pack, which is really cool. We have the Allen Swamp Monkey. Never heard of that before, but look at that. Holy cow. Uh, the Blue-Eyed Black Lemur. Oh my gosh, look at those eyes, right? I guess that's why they're called that. And next up, we have the Vervet Monkey. So yeah, these are really, really they've only gotten better and better in quality. Um, A, because of ZZ's building skill, right? But B, because um, ZZ and Drock and them have gotten uh, more pieces to really harness and build with there. So uh, yeah, definitely check out the bear packs, the dino packs, and the African primate packs in the description down below. And then rounding us out today is going to be Mr. Peter Leader, right? I remember right. Yes, yeah, Mr. Peter Leader here with the Wildlands uh, Eamon. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is uh, different. This is the uh, Frazzle. This is from Frazzle. Uh, Frazzle 64 has the indoor play area modular set and props. So, yeah, this is if you want to build your own indoor uh, play area, uh, which is a really cool idea. Um, and it even comes with the ball set and like, you know, little slides and basically if you ever went to uh, DZ Discovery Zone, that's probably a very American United States thing, uh, but the Discovery Zone as a kid or Chuck E. Cheese, uh, it's kind of similar to building like an indoor play area like that. Yeah, they kind of give you a modular set for all of that kind of stuff. I love the, uh, this is such a fun idea. Uh, but here's what I meant before with like the ball pits. Now again, I don't know if like ball pits and those kind of things were big in uh, Europe but they were huge here with uh, McDonald's and Chuck E. Cheese. And I think every single fast food place you went to for a long time all had ball pits in them. Um, but yeah, this is from Frazzle64. So this is really, really cool. This is really cool. Chuck E. Cheese? Is that like you don't know what Chuck E. Cheese is? Is Chuck E. Cheese also an American thing? Um, yeah, I don't know what to compare it to then for you, uh, for you island dwellers, you uh, <laughs> over there. Maybe Alton Towers, like, had something like this. I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. Uh, but yeah, no, this is really cool. Yeah, I love this set as well. So yeah, definitely check that out from Frazzle. And then, you know what, uh, Peter? I, I think I forgot to put your thing down. I knew I, uh, I, knew I downloaded it because I took a look at it before, but I think I forgot to uh, put it back down. African Entrance, that's what it was. There it is. I remember taking a look at this earlier and being like, hey, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good there. All right, let's get the grass away. So we can see. And then, yeah, last one here is going to be from Peter Leader. And this is going to be the uh, the full name of it is the Wildlands Emin uh, Seringa Entrance African Entrance. And look at this. This is really cool. Fits right in with the, uh, the North African pack, right? Fits right in with that kind of... Um, in North Africa type architecture looks really cool. I love the way this looks. You have an indoor play in your um, in your zoo project, and this is incredible. I'm too lazy to remove your old one. Yeah, that's fair, right? And you put all that hard work into it, so maybe you can just like plus it, right? Take what you already have existing and use some of the modular play set to uh, plus it a little bit. <laughs> There's nothing really in the UK. All right, so Chuck E. Cheese is basically an arcade compare um, paired with. Uh, a play set that like we just saw from Peter Leader that had like uh, slides and tubes and ball play sets that kids could go in and stuff. Um, and then it had like creepy animatronics. Um, and like, yeah, the main thing was like, uh, it was a, it was a wrap was like the main thing. We like here in the United States, we like to base our characters off of like mice, like Mickey Mouse and rats and you know, like little, little rat things. It's cool, you even have an interior and everything. It looks like you can put a uh, habitat back here. It's really well done in the interior here. Interior here. And then it kind of routes, uh, spits you out into the main zoo area there. Very nice. That's a really cool um, African themed entrance uh, style thing you have here. So very cool if you need to uh, get an African entrance going. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, cool. Let's go ahead and we'll do the big old zoom out. Um, Take a look at everything. But yeah, big shout out to, uh, again, to Gore on there for getting up all those awesome blueprints and everything. And yeah, big shout out to all of our other blueprint makers and of course our modders for getting us some awesome animals. But yeah, awesome job there, everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to finish out the day, finish out the stream with a, uh, it's called Zoo Blueprint from Mama Bear Plays. 
Uh, we have indoor play, uh, play areas, but not in McDonald's. You grab your food or drive through and leave, not sit with the kids and play. Uh, it was very much a 90s and early 2000s thing. And now any remnants of it is all gone because of COVID. Um, but yeah, no, there was like, they were called uh, McDonald's play places. And they built like, again, entire like sections that were indoors and, you know, really complex like tubes and slides. And uh, they would all like lead into a ball pit. And we had entire, um, this isn't part of McDonald's, but we had entire like separate uh, entities, stores, like storefronts. Um, the one in town was called Discovery Zone, the DZ. Um, and the entire store was just that. You'd go in, you'd take your shoes off and the, it would just be like, yeah, an entire storefront of just tubes and slides and uh, rollers and ball pits and you name it, you know? <laughs> it was just like a five to 10 year old's dream uh, dream area. Um, it's recreation air, uh, entrance of Wildlands, a zoo in the Netherlands. I've heard of that zoo before um, a few times. There's a few really cool reference photos um, up there. So yeah, you did a really good job of using it as a reference there. So, uh, but cool, hey, then load it on up. Nice and quick there. Yes, we do indeed have parks, and we do go to parks to play as well. We can do both. We can do both, Claire. We don't have to just say, oh, only Chuck E. Cheese. No, we, uh, the United States is big. It's very capitalistic, so, you know, there's a whole bunch of shit like that to do. <laughs> um, but cool, hey, let's check out the old Mama Bear place here with Zoo Blueprint. Um and see what we have going here so we have a very cool little festive colorful castle cancel oh no, excuse me castle conservation I like the foliage and all the signage very welcoming a lot of exhibit animals animals as we come on in very nice let's check out the habitats from the left to the right here this is a very work in progress so keep that in mind as we're looking at this look at we have their tape ears awesome awesome Ooh, we kind of enter in the, into the mist here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, nice interior. Looks like we have an animal talks here later on. That's fun. We even have some backstage going on here too. I like that, how they kind of threw everything in the, at the side here. <laughs> it's cool. Thinking of all the little details and everything. Let's see, I wanted to go up here. This caught my eye up on top of the hill here. Hill here. It even has a line going. Oh, it's one of the restaurants you actually were able to utilize it. That's awesome. Look at that, you get a really nice view of uh, the little entranceway as you come in. It's kind of cool, you got the rolling hills and stuff. Very nice restaurant. Kind of fly our way over to, uh, looks like a wetlands area almost, right? You have all the new trees from the wetlands update. Who do we have hanging here? I think these are the caimans, aren't they? The spectacled caimans? No, I think these are uh, the alligator. Oh yeah, it's the American alligator. That's cool. Don't look down. <laughs> yeah, that's neat, what is that? Oh, you did wooden planks, that's really cool. I like the, uh, the boardwalk type feel that you have going on. Very nice. I saw the boat over here kind of surrounding this island. <clears throat> So you got some big plans here. When we got started on the big plans a little bit. Oh, see, so it looks like you have to take the boat. Or not necessarily. You kind of go around this uh, cave. Oh, hey, what's going on over here? Hello. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, uh, fun story. Uh, GRX says, fun story in my school's playground. When I used to live in Australia, there was a snake that got onto the... Uh, courts. All I remember is the caretaker getting a shovel, smacking it, they're putting it in a bag. Yep, that's how you take care of that. Yeah, we'll take care of lizard snakes near the kids. Yeah, just whack. Oh, this is really nice. Look at this. This is a really nice underwater, underground. So they yeah, that good. So we got the beaver. <laughs> this is a really good beaver exhibit. You get an <clears throat> above look at it as well. Well, at least they whacked him with a shovel before putting him in a bag. <clears throat> I've seen an instance of a caretaker basically just shoving the snake inside the bag and then taking the bag and whacking it up against the side of a building a bunch of times <laughs> to kill it, you know? So at least he uh, had the decency of killing it outside the bag first with a shovel. <laughs> this is cute. It's almost like a... has like an English garden feel to it. 
What are these for? Oh, the deer. Or no, they're not called deer. They're the, uh, oh yeah, this is the follow deer. And then next to him, we have the moose. Moose. <laughs> yeah, the waterfall and underwater viewing. I think it's my favorite part of the zoo so far. You were worried it was gonna be bad? Oh no, heck no. Heck no. That's what I always try to tell people. Like, I know it's easier said than done, but try not to compare yourself to like, you know, a lot of people's builds. Everyone goes into a build with like a totally different way that they're perceiving, you know, what they want to build. Some people are trying to do the most like hyper realistic uh, build that you can do. You know, others are trying to kind of find an in-between in the middle of being hyper realistic and kind of just having fun with it. Some people just, you know, want to just come in and have fun, you know, not really think about, oh, does this plant grow in this type of the area that I'm building in or you know do I have the budget for it so yeah you know it's again I know it's a lot easier said than done but um take inspiration from people but don't try and compare your build straight up to other people right because again we're all in different areas of uh build styles build skills uh keep in mind that some of us have been playing this type of building style game since Planet Coaster, or even before that, like me and Estan and a few others, we've been playing these kind of games since uh, like Roller Coaster Tycoon days, like from 1999, right? So, um, and you know, a lot of you are just coming in kind of brand new to either Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster even, or um, yeah. So yeah, I just think uh, it's always good to take inspiration, but try not to directly compare and uh, contrast yourself to others because we're all at different spots and everyone's builds are awesome in their own kind of ways so um, but anyways yeah no, I think my favorite takeaway from your zoo so far definitely is the uh, these caimans over here no I'm sorry the uh, the beaver I think the beavers are my favorite the beaver habitat's my favorite so far so but hey awesome zoo there did I cover all of it I think we did cover all of it so far um I like the layout look at this too you already have the layout all ready to go and um very excited to see some more uh from the uh from this build here so good stuff awesome but hey we're gonna go ahead and take off there folks let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll hang out I was trying to find a place for us to kind of hang out I think we're gonna hang out in my favorite section here we'll even get the lighting all fancy yeah right about like there right there <laughs> but cool yeah so hey good stuff everyone we will probably have a um a showcase this sunday because that will give us get us back on track with our every other week type thing um however if there's a if there's not a lot of stuff, we might skip again, or I might just kind of go on the Steam Workshop like I did when I uh, first started this whole uh, whole adventure with the Community Showcase. Uh, but yeah, as of right now, let's plan on doing it not this coming Sunday, or not next Sunday, excuse me, but uh, the Sunday following uh, that. And uh, don't forget, if this is your first time hanging out with us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button there to stay up to date with the live showcases that we do. Also, if you do have things you want to submit, join the discord channel down below discord is a free social media app so don't worry about any fees or anything like that i've seen that recently a lot of people kind of not knowing what discord is still um so yeah if you don't know what it is it is a free um like social media thing basically so definitely check that out there we go my mods have done an awesome job at doing that hey jen how we doing good to see you um uh, what else i gonna say oh um I know I didn't have a video out yesterday or this week really, ever since the Prehistoric Kingdom video. I got swamped as hell at work. Uh, it was either swamped as hell or I was having really, really rigorous physical activity days at work basically this week that were kind of unexpected. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of time to build, but I did finally get my build finished for Sunset Ridge Zoo. <clears throat> I actually tell you what, while I'm blabbering, we'll just jump into that real quick, give you all a little sneaky peeky of that. Kinda want some opinions on it anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I had a really, really busy week at, uh, at work and I kind of got a few builds done and then I'd jump in the next day and look at the build and be like, ah, no, it's not good. So I, I just, I deleted like two or three builds throughout the week. But then finally last week, or last week, last night, I finished up and uh, I thought it was pretty good there. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll jump into it. Is it the end? It is the end of the video, Jen. Um, so do be sure to catch the end of it or, you know, rewind and catch all the awesome stuff. We had a lot of uh, good blueprints to look at today. A lot of cool interior kind of stuff. 
Uh, but anyways, yeah, I was saying uh, we'll have another Sunset Ridge Zoo video covering what I'm uh, loading up right now. Probably either uh, tomorrow or Tuesday. And then also we're going to have some more Prehistoric Kingdom coming out very, very soon as well. That video did gangbusters, so apparently everyone is either interested or... Yeah, interested. <laughs> Everyone's just pretty kind of interested uh, in Prehistoric Kingdom because, yeah, that video for uh, for me is getting up to like 3,000 views, which is like, whoa. Uh, so, yeah, I'll definitely, we're going to continue um, Prehistoric Kingdom um, in the very near future there. So, uh, but yeah, a little sneaky peeky there. Uh, Seabrass, yeah, we'll do that real quick. So, this is what we have kind of going with Sunset Ridge. Zoo, did I run out of music playlist here? Or did? We'll set play again. Uh, but yeah, so if you saw the last episode, we had this whole section here that I based off of the, um, what's it called? The Seas with Nemo and Friends. So we're going from this section. If you didn't catch this build, um, this is a the last episode. And then, yeah, we move into a little breezeway here. Shout out to Bold for these awesome signs here. And yeah, then we come into wah, 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 a leopard shark pool. I, I'm i going back and forth. You'll have to let me know, animal um, people who know more about animals than I do. Thank you, appreciate that, G-Rex Dark Shadows. Um, I saw a few zoos have like touch pools for leopard sharks, but I don't know how like humane, I guess that is. So, as of right now, I don't have a fence up, so people can technically touch the sharks. But if I get kind of a resounding like, hey, that's not cool, then we will put up a fence that is themed to, where is it? Uh, to this, this kind of a boardwalk type fence. I already have it like ready to go um, as a backup plan if needed. So yeah, we have the our leopard sharks. Shout out to uh, our modders for getting those. You're way too scared to use modded scenery. I don't want to lose your zoo. Uh, oh, I hear that. Yep, definitely. But oh my gosh, this entire thing is like modded scenery. These rocks are modded scenery. The crates are modded scenery. Um, a lot of the foliage that you see, almost all the foliage you see, like these little teeny tiny plants right here are modded uh, plants and sceneries and everything. So yeah, I'm like really like sick of my neck out for modded scenery right now, but the it, we've been okay in the past. Uh, this entire small exhibit right here for our iguana is all custom made with modded scenery. So you get to build like your own teeny tiny little bits and everything. So that's why I like that. The exhibit prop pack is like, oh, chef's kiss of a of a pack right there. So yeah, there is the um, leopard shark. Oh, you know what? While we're in here, um, I was saying I was going to do it earlier and I was serious about that. I want to add in these little chain link crates that just go on made because they are freaking awesome and they fit like you know they fit in don't they like really really well with this kind of uh seaside beachside kind of vibe like it's all supposed to be california like california wetlands so that's the kind of animals i'm trying to keep relevant in all of these can't always do it oh yeah i built this i forgot i thought this was kind of cool so this uses the um I think it's NDP's faux rock set. Where is it? But I built a little exhibit inside of it. I couldn't believe it fit in there so well. Ah, uh, here it is, yeah. The faux rock tree piece that you get from uh, that modded set. Yeah, I built a little heckin' uh, spider exhibit inside here. Where is he? There he is. Like a Brazilian wandering spider or something like that. But it fit in so perfectly. I was so stoked on that. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you should never be touching wild sharks. Um, this is a game, so you do you, boo boo. I appreciate that. But you should never be touching wild sharks, though. Yeah, I figured it would stress them out in some way, right? Whenever I see a touch pool, like, I don't know. it. I, I always immediately think that it's, like, it's stressing them out in some way. Um, I don't like to agree with touch tanks, especially um, when they're like this and the sharks are in just one space without being able to get away from people. But after all, it is a game, so do whatever. Fair. Yes, fair. Do, do, do. Are we worried about toddlers falling in? Yeah, that's fair too. So I might put the fence up. I might put the fence up there. Yep. For the touch tank, you don't want any sharks to get COVID. That's true, right? Do, 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 do. That was an awesome touch. What's that? The little uh, 
thing right here. I thought that was so cool. Like I couldn't, you know, it's one of those um, builds that's like you have the idea creeping in your head and you're like, oh, that probably won't work out, right? But then you just kind of start building on it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of working out. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to the second part of the build here in just a quick second. But uh, like I said, I wanted to add in these just Goron little crates because these are so cool and they fit in so well. How you doing, S-Dork? Good to see you. Hope, hope the family's doing well today. Hope Miss uh, Emma's not driving you too crazy. <laughs> and look, speaking of S-Dan, I, look at what I did. I even added in these little like waterfall sections moving down. I pick, I would imagine that these would be like the, I tried to get the rocks to like position it down so the water would like come down into the water to like circulate it. I don't know, you know, kind of use your imagination there. But anyways, we uh, move forward and this is the blank section here, but I thought this was kind of cool. Tried to use some barriers and curbs to kind of direct our guests to use the, uh, the section here. This is gonna be another, um, probably the last enclosure over here. It's gonna be North American beavers. Uh, taking up a pretty big section right through here. Uh, but what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go over here and take a right. Take the right. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, do you think so, Frazzle? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Um, I know I said we're gonna move on, but now that he mentioned that. If you didn't notice, yeah, I did try and keep the rocks at about knee level for adults. So children would be, you know, about up to their chest. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Frazzle. Me and Frazzle are all on the same page, so. <laughs> and here we go, moving on in. G-Rex has asked and G-Rex will receive. We're moving into the Spectacled Cayman and American Alligator, just the one shared exhibit here. And we'll just move on in here. But yeah, I talked to um, one zookeeper, um, one person who is basically a zookeeper that works with animals all the time, um, and someone else who is like a zoo nerd, basically. And three of them said that it should be okay for one American alligator, which we have Bruce here. What's up, Bruce? Everyone say, hello, Bruce. Um, big boy, Bruce. Uh, we have Bruce and five spectacled caimans sharing a habitat together. <laughs> What's up, Savannah? Good to see you, buddy. Um, I know it did kind of turn into a Sunset Rage Zoo stream, but I needed opinions. I needed to make sure that, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about this this build here a little bit, to be honest with you. But uh, I think it, the reaction seems to be good. So, um, but yeah, no, I thought this kind of turned out pretty good. But yeah, anyways, they all said that it should be fine um, as long as there's enough food, which we will definitely make sure there's enough food so they won't be fighting over it, basically. That's the only worry that uh, two out of the three people that I asked. It's funny, they both said at the same time too when I was messaging them. They were like, yeah, just make sure they have enough food and they should not fight each other. Um, and also I think this is a cool little uh, keeper way to get in. It's underneath the waterfall there. Yes, Estan, there's more waterfalls. So do enjoy all of the, uh... am I a zoo nerd or a keeper? You're the in-between one. You're the one, <laughs> Savannah outed herself. I was gonna keep it a secret, but Savannah outed herself. Yes, yeah, Simply Savannah was one of them. So yes, you were the one that is uh, that works with the animals and has a very good knowledge of them. <laughs> You can put them all together. So yeah, they um, again, two of the three of them said that it should be fine. They don't know of any, Savannah was one of the two of the three. They don't know of any personal like references of them being together, but they don't, they think it'd be fine. So, and then yeah, our interior, shout out to a lot of our uh, blueprint makers. Cause we have a lot of uh, interior space to fill in here. And then yeah, we have our bird. Have this, uh, I think it's a shoe bill, right? I don't think this is a California shoe bill. The silvery cheeked hornbill, excuse me, hornbill. I believe that is native to Africa, but we're gonna just kind of stretch our imaginations a little bit and say that it fits into the wetlands kind of theme. So, um, but yeah, then, then we kind of keep going down. But yeah, I love the way that this turned out. Oh yeah, we have some more little peekaboo, little uh, things, I guess you'd say mainly meant for kids to kind of be able to have a little peekaboo uh view there but no yeah so that's uh kind of the build oh yeah i forgot about these guys i, I added these as like very 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 last minute last night as i was like logging off there was just like this big blank space on the wall here and i was like uh naked mole rats naked mole rats <laughs> so i don't know if they really fit in with the wetlands type feel but uh 
Naked mole rats. <laughs> I think I put this uh, blueprint, it's so good. Uh, who's it by? But I put this blueprint, I think, in every single one of my interior builds. It's by um, Drock, of course it is, okay. But yeah, I, I, again, I think I put this in almost every single one of my interior builds, no matter if it fits in or not. <laughs> uh, as another zookeeper, pretty sure this would be fine. Um, I know some of zoos keeping similar combinations of animals. Okay, cool. Harry, I need to remember to message you too. You can be my fourth. Uh, zookeeper or sorry my second zookeeper but fourth animal nerd altogether <laughs> oh and then of course uh, i have nighttime as well because a lot of this would be viewed um at night so yeah i've really had a lot of fun doing uh, nighttime i had to cut a lot out of the video because a lot of my time was doing like light theory basically but i like this um, kind of orange highlights with the and i put these like green ambiance or green whatever bulbs these new world bulbs that we were talking about earlier that got added in for the europe pack um added those up top so it gives us really cool ambiance up top there love it love it love it big time big time big time <laughs> uh. hey bacon play welcome um we did the entire community showcase and um then i just loaded into sunset ridge zoo here real quick to give it a little sneaky peeky on the upcoming uh, episode that should be releasing tomorrow or Tuesday. Actually, I think I need some more lights in here. No, I'm looking at it. I think I need some more lights. That'll use in everything too until the end of time. They're just so good, right? There's just like no reason not to use them, basically. Your idea and added an American alligator to your mixed caiman habitat. Hey, nice. And actually, I stole the idea for this entire exhibit from you because when you um, updated the Pine, uh, Pine Mountain Resort, uh, and you uh, had the caimans. I was like, hey, I'm going to do caimans for my build. <laughs> so we both stole from each other. It's all good. I love the way that the lighting turned out for the uh, the hornbill here. What's the flooring piece? Good question. I've been using the same flooring piece throughout the entire thing. The plastic opaque panel square four meter by four meter. It's really, really nice. It gives this really nice like um, shine, but it has like some scuff marks in it. And it's not on the grid. And it's recolorable <laughs> so yeah it gives it's really really nice but you see what i mean it has like these little scuff marks in it so it looks really really cool so I did lighting there and then let's check out the lighting in the other room and then we'll take off for the day oh you know what i, I finished the lighting over here but I, I definitely forgot to finish the lighting like over here i need to have some more orange highlights there oh so are you releasing okay i'm gonna release mine on tuesday then <laughs> <laughs> that would be a little bit too, like, hmm, conspicuous there. You know, I didn't finish the lighting over here anyways. I have a little bit more build to do. Like, I sat down yesterday for, like, almost six hours <laughs> finishing that entire build, and I still didn't finish the whole thing. So, yeah, no, release your video tomorrow. At least mine on Tuesday. I have some more work to do a little bit. Um, I started the lighting here, but I forgot to swing it around to both sides. Uh, but I really like the combination of this, like, green and orange. I think that's a pretty, pretty cool um, color combo for the area. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I can tell I've been talking a while because I start to get kind of stuffed up as I talk a long time. So, but um, hey, cool. I appreciate y'all's uh, opinions there. I really do. Because um, I don't know, for this like this zoo, this like, again, modern kind of contemporary type zoo, I'm being a little bit harsh, or uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, yeah, I'm being a little bit harsh on myself to try and make sure that like, um, like species can be together and um, that's that's really a lot of it I just want to make sure like species can work together and like I'm actually telling a story almost uh, while educating the guests at the same time and um, yeah I just feel like I've been within the zoo community long enough now that I'm starting to get a bit of a grasp and get a bit of an understanding on uh, how to tell a story within a zoo um, theme parks you know I can tell a story in a theme park like that I know theme parks like the back of my hand but when it comes to doing like houses or themed sections for zoos, you know, I'm still kind of um, trying to get my feet wet and trying to learn that. So, um, yeah, I've just been uh, really appreciative to everyone who gives off knowledge in their videos or if I ask questions, they give off knowledge. Because, yeah, again, it's uh, the more knowledge you kind of rack up about animals and their um, subspecies and their climates they come from, their, bio, um, their biodiversity and everything, you can kind of help you build a story um, in a zoo. And I think that's really, really important to do to educate the general public and everything. So, uh, but anyways, again, thanks for giving me your opinions on everything. I'm gonna take those and I'm going to run with them and get building 
uh, today and tomorrow, and hopefully I'll release this on Tuesday, it sounds like, because Savannah just has to release her video tomorrow. Gosh, what a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> kidding kidding so uh, but hey awesome hey appreciate y'all as always and uh, yeah like I said keep an eye out for this video um, in the next uh, few days there so uh, but also me appreciate y'all as always and yeah we'll uh, we'll talk to you later don't forget uh, for the community showcase uh, we'll either have one next Sunday if we have enough stuff or if not we'll do it the Sunday after that but yeah it's probably planned on in two weeks we'll be back here doing another community showcase join the discord if you'd like to submit your items and yeah all will be well so hey awesome thanks everyone always appreciate it talk to you later